Hey guys, it's Kirby the Bookish Nurse and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of the August Owlcrate box. So I know this is kind of late, but Owlcrate has been having some issues with shipping and having items come into their um, facility and different things like that. So, I mean, every it's completely understandable, but... Um, I think this month was Dark Academia, which is one of my favorite aesthetics. And this time I remembered to bring a knife so I don't have to rig nothing up with like fingernail clippers or nothing like I usually do. I went back a few days ago and read the description of the book and I have no idea what it is. This box is full of stuff. Here is the spoiler card. I really like that I might actually use that for like a um, collage or something. I like that picture. Can y'all see that? Okay. So I'll put this to the side and I'll look at it as needed because I never know what fandom anything is from because apparently I just know nothing. So many, I don't even know how to balance this. Okay. So I have a cute little box. It says, it is better to know one book intimately than a hundred superficially. I don't know who said that, but it's pretty. What's inside? Oh, wow. What, what is that? Oh, it's like an, um, it's a bookmark, I think. What does it say? Oh, it says the same thing. It is better to know one book intimately than a hundred superficially. And it has a little... One of the Greek smart guys. That's what it looks like. Can y'all see that? Yep. Spoiler card immediately. But I'm pretty sure that's a bookmark. So this is from The Secret History, which I haven't read and I'm not even sure what it is. So it must not be one of my um, genres that I typically read because I don't, I don't know what that is. But nonetheless, it is a metal bookmark. I was right. And it is very pretty, so I'm sure I'll use it. Next, we have from the library of... Oh, this is... It's a book stamp. So I can get ink and stamp my own books so that nobody can ever steal my books. This is, <laughs> this is what the stamp looks like. I mean, obviously, it has the stamp itself, but this is what it looks like. And then you can write your little name under there. That's cute. I love that. And that's super heavy too. I like that a lot. All right. This next thing is a, um, a tea. Ellingham Academy brew. I'm not sure where that's from. But it has chamomile. Something I can't pronounce. Rooibos tea. Rose hips. Hibiscus. Apple pieces. Natural strawberry flavor, natural vanilla flavor, strawberries and raspberry leaves, gluten-free, nut-free, dairy-free, caffeine-free. Aw, it's caffeine-free. So here's this. And let me look and see what book it's from. Truly Devious, which I have also not read. I told you, that's why I have to use a spoiler card because I guess the books that I read just don't have fandoms. I don't know. What is this? This is heavy. Some kind of a little book of some kind. Very pretty little tiny book. Bunch of stuff I cannot pronounce on the outside. Oh, it's a little like note planner. Oh, let's see. We were always surrounded by books and words and poetry. All the fierce passions of the world bound in leather and vellum. This is what the front looks like. This is what the back is giving us. But then look, whenever you open it, look how precious. I love that so much. And I'll actually be able to use this like for work. And can I replace this? Yeah, and this is a replaceable um, notebook. So, I will definitely be able to use this. I don't know what that means, but there's words on the pen. <laughs> Something probably in Greek. 
I don't know. I super love that, and I will definitely be using that. If I can get it to go back on there. Okay. It's a reading kit inspired by uh, If We Were Villains, which also have not read. Uh, I know that it's a reading kit, but honestly, I probably am not going to use it for that. Because I have to take notes a lot of the time while I'm on, on like patient phone calls. So I'll probably use it for that. And here is our monthly enamel pen, which I also can't pronounce. It's probably Latin. Oh, you can't see. There it goes. It's very pretty. I love any of those old-timey, like, typewriters and clocks and um, anything like that I really like. This has, like, vines growing on it. So I still don't know what the book is because I don't know what those words mean. Here we have something cloth. <laughs> yeah, I... I'm apparently not going to be able to pronounce anything in this box because I am not Latin and I do not speak Latin. So, here we are. But, regardless, Aglionde Academy? Regardless, I love that art. So, this is a book sleeve. Probably for smaller books, it looks like. Probably not. Well, I mean, I don't know. It might fit a bigger book. Keep your books safe while you're out searching for sleeping Welsh kings with this Raven Boys inspired book sleeve. I'm so sorry that I have not read the Raven Boys yet. I've been told for many years that I need to read that series and I just... I'm, I'm not a good fangirl. I don't know. I haven't read it yet. But, regardless, I have a really cool book sleeve from the series now that... So now whenever I do want a fangirl, I'd be like, oh my god, I have merch. I have merch, you guys. I'm pre-fangirled. And here we have a large box. Oh, book tin. It's a book tin. I think this is from the Shades of London series. Um... B. Schwab. This one's white. I think this one's my favorite one so far. On this oak. Everything is in Latin. Everything. Uh, the Someday King. Magic Restored. And then at last, the world breathed in. Yeah, this one's my favorite. So we have the front there. The Someday King. There's like blood coming down the castle. I've got to get it together with what I'm reading. Can you see that? Not really. Lights in your way. And then here's the inside. I think I like the inside best of all. And I love these. I can never have too many containers. I just, I can't. White London. Yep, that one's my favorite. I like that a whole lot. And then finally we have the book. Which is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Lesson in Vengeance. I've seen this. Or I just dropped everything if y'all heard that. So I was going to glance over it like y'all never. Y'all probably heard that. I just dropped a whole stack of everything. But yeah, I've seen this around. I feel like I saw it though with with a dark like a black cover <gasps> oh my gosh y'all these pages these edges Ugh, i just can't even with alcrate right now i hate that this is my last box god i hate that this is my last box because these edges are divine book cover silver edges what tell me that is not amazing that is so pretty what's the book look like <gasps> and there's a reversible dust jacket and look at this that's just the naked book 
That is so freaking gorgeous. And then here's the art for the reversible jacket. I don't know exactly what y'all can see, so I'm sorry if this is not in in frame. It says, I want to find a loose thread on the collar of her shirt and tug. I want to unravel her. Oh, my goodness. That sounds a little bit risque and a little bit creepy. Magic can pull you in, pull you under. Every spell is a pomegranate seed on your tongue, binding you to the underworld. Oh, God. This sounds right up my alley. I... Oh my goodness. But the front is so pretty too. I I think I'm going to have to. I normally am just like, oh, look at the art. I love that art. But I think that I'm actually going to have to use this side for my book. Because while this is beautiful, those quotes, man, that's, mm, that's going to be hard to beat. I don't know. But that is gorgeous. And I'm so happy that. If I have to have a last book from Alcrate, I'm glad this is the one because those edges, bruh. Oh my God. That is fantastic. Sadly, this will probably be my last unboxing, at least for a long, long while because tuition is expensive and I have regular life things to do. So, unless Alcrate wants to sponsor your girl... I'm open to that. That's probably going to be it for a little while. If I happen to get another Alcrate or another bookish box of any kind or a specialty, anything, I'll be sure to unbox it and let y'all see because they have some of the greatest. If you're part of any fandom, you will probably appreciate everything in these boxes. They're, I think they're all independent artists who make the items. And they all do such a wonderful job. I don't even drink loose tea, okay? I want to be fancy and be one of those, but I'm not. I'm not. I drink sweet tea that I boil or brew or whatever. But these teas, I don't know if it's because they have, like, dried fruit in them, like actual dried fruit. or I don't know what it is, but they are so good, and you don't even really have to add. I don't have to add sugar. But anyways, that was August Alcrate box. So what did y'all think of the items? I personally loved this box. I loved probably everything in it. I'm not sure what my favorite item would be. My favorite item would probably be the book itself or maybe the stamp. I really, I really like this stamp a lot. Um, if y'all also got one of these boxes, let me know what y'all's favorite item was. Because, I don't know, it's really hard to decide. I, I'm thinking probably the book itself this time. That's going to be all for me today. I post videos every week, and I will see y'all soon with a new video. Bye. Mm -hmm.